Well, we're gonna end this now and talk about the last bit of macromolecule, and it's about silicon dioxide. Yep, 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 silicon dioxide, the stuff that is in glass, the stuff that's stuff in sand, and the stuff that's in quartz. Whoa, it's literally everywhere. Now, diamonds and silicon dioxide stuff, they're kind of the same. They both have very similar structure, and because of that, they have similar physical properties like having high melting points and really hard when you make them into the right shape. All right, now the actual shape of silicon dioxide uh, tends to be quite, quite complicated, but fortunately for us at this level, it's rather easy. It's simply another type of tetrahedral looking shape. Here, remember this guy, that's the shape of diamond. Now we're gonna look at how to draw the structure of silicon dioxides. And then we're gonna study that, just a little bit. Basically, I'm just gonna mimic the structure that I have already here for diamonds. Again, it's a tetrahedral shape, but um, towards the very end, we're gonna we're gonna do a slight modification to it. Yep, let me go zip. Cool. Right. So they kind of look the same. The only difference is here each of this little bob is a color. Here. Each of these little bob is a silicon. It's a silicon. And this will be silicon, 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 and all the way through and through. Where's the oxygen? Well, the oxygen is between two silicons. So everywhere you see two silicons joined together, you put another circle to represent the oxygen. These are your oxygens, your oxygen atoms. Cool. Now, if you look at a um, uh, silicon atom, it's bonded to four oxygen atoms. All right, and each oxygen atom is bonded to only two silicons. So you have a ratio of four oxygen atoms with two silicon atoms to form a bond. And so, because this is a giant mo molecule, all right, a giant structure, what you're gonna do is represent it by the empir its empirical form, because it's simply so big. So, in its empirical form, it will be SiO2. Now, uh, the structure of this is exactly like diamond. Um, a three-dimensional shape in a tetrahedral-like arrangement. And each of these atoms in here have the maximum number of covalent bonds that each of these atoms can have. So silicon can have uh, four covalent bonds. And oxygen can have two, right? There's no double bonds going on around here. Because the double bonds can tend to uh, allow uh, one of those two double bonds to break. But since everything here is a single bond, it's it literally, because of the sheer size of it, makes it really, really strong. All right? So strong that it has pretty high boiling points. So, I mean melting points. So the melting points for diamond and silicon tends to be really high. And um, higher metal points than uh, quite a number of metals. Wow, imagine that.